In this video, we're going to discuss the cofunctions. We'll define what a cofunction is, and we'll give an example of using them. We recall our original six trigonometric functions. We had sine x, cosine x, tangent x, and cosecant, secant, and cotangent of x. And we remember that sine and cosecant, and cosine and secant, and tangent and cotangent were reciprocal functions of each other. That is, sine of x was equal to 1 over cosecant x, cosine of x was equal to 1 over secant of x, and tangent of x was equal to 1 divided by cotangent of x. Now instead of reciprocal functions, we're going to talk about something called cofunctions. Now this is the triangle we ended the last video with, a 90 degree, 38 degree, 52 degree right triangle with lengths that are given here. If I wanted to look at cosine of 38 degrees, cosine is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, which in this case would be 27 divided by 34.26 or approximately equal to 0 0.788. If instead of the 38 degree angle, I wanted to look at the 52 degree angle, and if instead of cosine, I wanted to look at the sine, well sine of 52 degrees is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, which is 27 divided by 34.26, huh, that happens to be the same number. So cosine of 38 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.788, and the sine of 52 degrees is also approximately equal to 0 0.788. If we look at the tangent of 38 degrees, the tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, or 21.09 divided by 27, or approximately equal to 0 0.781. And if we then looked at the cotangent of 52 degrees, we find that is also equal to 21.09 divided by 27. That is, the cotangent is equal to the side adjacent divided by the side opposite. So tangent of 38 degrees equals the cotangent of 52 degrees. And if we look at the cosecant of 38 degrees, we recall that the cosecant of an angle is equal to the hypotenuse divided by the opposite side, or 34.26 divided by 21.09, or approximately 1.624. And now if we look at the secant of the other angle, the 52 degree angle, we find that that is equal to the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent side, or the same number as the cosecant of 38 degrees. So cosine of 38 degrees equals the sine of 52 degrees. The tangent of 38 degrees is equal to the cotangent of 52 degrees. The cosecant of 38 degrees is equal to the secant of 52 degrees. Well, what's the relationship between the numbers 38 degrees and 52 degrees? Well, they're equal to the complement of the original angle. That is, 52 degrees is equal to 90 degrees minus 38 degrees. So cosine of an angle, it looks like it's equal to the sine of 90 degrees minus that same angle. And likewise, tangent of 38 degrees is equal to cotangent of the complement of 38 degrees, and cosecant of 38 degrees is equal to the secant of the complement of 38 degrees. We can actually say this in a general form, that sine and cosine are cofunctions, that is, they're complementary functions. Remember, 90 degrees minus an angle is the complement of the angle, so these are cofunctions, complementary functions. In general, cosine of theta is equal to sine of 90 degrees minus theta, and likewise with tangent and cotangent and cosecant and secant. It also goes the other direction, that is, sine of an angle theta is equal to cosine of 90 degrees minus that same angle theta, and likewise for cotangent, tangent, and secant, and cosecant. Well, let's do an example using what we've just learned. If I tell you that sine of 72 degrees is equal to 0 0.9511, and I ask you without using a calculator to tell me what cosine of 18 degrees is, if you recognize that 18 degrees is the complement of 72 degrees, that is 90 degrees minus 72 degrees equals 18 degrees, 
then the answer is simply the cosine of 18 degrees equals the sine of 72 degrees or 0 0.9511. And that is an explanation of the cofunctions or complementary functions and an example of how we could use these cofunctions.